not sure why, but the fact that this particular Nissin Tonkatsu ramen was flavored with black garlic oil was enough to both fascinate and disturb me. The image that black garlic conjures is kind of a rancid picture, and I'm a little apprehensive, but as a garlic lover, I'm also extremely excited. The instructions are no different from any typical ramen. Add the seasoning packets to a bowl, including the sandstone powder and the terrifyingly gelatinous black garlic. Then boil the noodles until soft and mix everything together. As soon as the boiling water hits the powder, it dissolves, and the garlic blobs turn into a much more familiar looking oil spill. Get the noodles in there, and I'll admit, it looks and smells downright appetizing at this point, with a delightfully pungent garlic smell enveloping the porky tonkatsu. Now it's time to tuck that hair back and dig in. My first bite is... Mmm. You know what? That's dang tasty. As I go in for my second bite, my mouth is coated with that sort of deliciously fatty, oily film that you'd expect from a good tonkatsu. And there's so much more depth than I expected. The secret has to be the broth. That's so good. It is. Mm. I was so worried about the black garlic being overpowering and like moldy that I didn't consider how deep a properly fermented flavor could take this simple powder ramen. I can barely control myself long enough to take a breath it's that good. The broth, the noodles, they're a perfect storm and I, in less than five minutes, destroyed the entire thing. It's so good that I would immediately make another bowl. And that's it. Until I find some kind of new black ramen type. Stay sweet. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope you enjoyed Yellow Dart taking my place for this special episode. He certainly had fun. Pip. Hush.